What's up everyone, Shadman here, and welcome to another episode of Henry's Hands-On. It's a segment where we take a look at some of the latest and greatest products for photography and video. Today, the hype is at an all-time high, because we're getting an early look at the brand new Sony a7 III. So right off the bat, one of the key improvements Sony's made to the a7 III is they've now introduced a brand new 24 megapixel BSI sensor and the Bion's X processor to this camera. The combination of these two allows the camera to shoot at much faster shooting speeds, allowing it to do 10 frames per second continuously with both its electronic and mechanical shutter. Plus, it allows for much better low light performance from the camera as it can now reach an extended ISO of over 200,000. Sony is also now introducing advances in the autofocus performance of the a7 III that's unheard of for a camera at this price point. This camera now has 425 contrast AF points that work together with the 693 face detection autofocus system that can be found in their flagship sports camera, the A9. It now gives us approximately 93% coverage, which should enable you to track fast subjects from edge to edge of your frame. In low light, the autofocus performance is up to two times faster than before. So for any photographer or videographer shooting in low light conditions such as weddings or events, this is gonna make a huge difference. This camera also gets Sony's amazing eye detect AF system that they use in their higher end cameras such as the A7R3 and the A9. From our quick test, it's uncanny how well the system works even during quick movement. The bottom line is, this is an amazing hybrid camera. We're getting 4K footage from a 6K signal, so the images that come out are exceptionally sharp. For those of you looking to get the most amount of dynamic range and color from your footage, you'll be happy to know that the picture profiles of S-Log2 and 3 are available. And if you're just looking for a quicker solution, the camera now supports hybrid log gamma. From our initial look at the camera, we noticed less rolling shutter with this new sensor. This will be terrific for anyone shooting up to 120 frames per second slow motion at full HD. Combined with their excellent in-body stabilization, the result is buttery smooth footage. In your hands, the camera feels fantastic. Although it doesn't have the same weather ceiling as the a7R 3 it adopts a lot of the features that make that camera so impressive. Dual card slots, USB-C, a high resolution EVF, and the handy joystick all make for a refined user experience. And finally, battery life is no longer an issue, as the Z-Type delivers on all promises. All right, that's it for a quick look at the a7 III. All I can say is wow. This is a true hybrid camera at a price point that's impossible to ignore. Thanks for joining us, everyone. We really hope you enjoyed this edition of Henry's Hands Off. For more info, check out our website, our social media channels, or of course, visit any one of our great Henry's locations across Canada. If you have more questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Until next time, this is Shadden from Henry's. Happy shooting, everyone.